The concerned teachers are from two secondary schools in the Highlands, the Coppen Secondary and Hagen Park Secondary. They say they are qualified with degrees and can teach students better than outsiders. I taught with some Pilvinos over the years, and I know from experience I'm saying that because they could not be able to deliver. Huh? They sometimes, you know, students find it very difficult to understand them. They cannot even speak speak uh, fluent Eng English and all this. Huh? A number of them are not happy at the silence of the PNG Teachers Association on this matter. The, uh, the government should now look at what has caused the decline in the number of teachers. What really caused the decline in the number of teachers? Where it is happening? Look back into the root of this instead of um, going overseas to recruit more teachers. Dominic Lawton is a senior teacher and a representative for teachers from his school on the Board of Governors. He says the situation for boarding school teachers is completely different. They are overworked and underpaid. And the boarding, if they're sleeping over there and they're working 24 hours, Monday to the next Monday, no break. Night, they have to go and supervise in the boarding school. And it's a very hard job. And even the boarding duty allowance they're paying is not even, can be able to not meet that. On the issue of teachers' performance, the PNGTA says there are many attributes. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill said on MTV's Talk Pixar program, the recruitment of foreign teachers is to address the shortage of manpower faced by the country. We have got some of the most intelligent people in the world, uh, but they have uh, lacked the uh, capacity and, uh, and the desire to apply themselves. And I think if leaders uh, and governments provide positive message to, to our people, they are going to rise up to it, and I have no doubt whatsoever. Alice Thomas, National MTV News.